end it and we're leaving camp and we're going for our morning walk and we're gonna have a nice time out there see you in a few minutes oh well it's quite a journey to uh, get down the hill here from the RV campsite of course it's not too difficult for bandit he's got uh, all occasions four-wheel drive so he's just having a good time here but Papa Dale is uh, not only just two-wheel drive but he's also old and been sick and has to be more careful so he doesn't fall and get hurt <laughs> so uh, here we are down at the beach down at the water's edge and this is what it all looks like pretty down here we walked down this way once before the other day and we're walking down here along the beach again today see what we can see lovely 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 and oh did I say it was lovely yeah it is Well, you got me all tangled up here. Where do you expect us to go while I'm all tangled up? Hmm? Why don't you just stay on one side or the other? Okay, here we go. Ooh, untangling, untangling, untangling. Ah, oh, it's better. Oh, now I'm dizzy. That was quite an effort. Oh, some nice sandy spots. You could bring a picnic lunch down here and have a good time. You can see how deep the water gets. Pretty nice. I felt the water the other day and it seemed to be pretty warm. Let's see if I can get down to it now. Oh, refreshing temperature. Yeah, maybe, uh, oh, just guessing, of course, maybe 65 degrees. Kind of disgusting that people leave their litter down here. I don't know why people do that. Lazy, I guess. Yep. So, traveling along the beach shore, just enjoying the beauty of God's creation. Love Rife Lake. Oh, wow. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful time of peace and quiet and staying at Rife Lake. Now, Mike and I were up pretty late last night having some very deep conversations. Pretty interesting. Had a great time with Mike O'Connor from Living Free. And I uh, hope everybody that uh, sees my videos will go over and 
watch his videos at Living Free and subscribe to his channel. He's a great guy, tender heart, and uh, has some pretty crazy things that go on over at his channel sometimes. This lake, I was reading yesterday about it. I think I mentioned there were three cities that were buried by the lake. One is now above the level of the water, but it's still just been destroyed. It's called Cosmos. K-O-S-M-O-S. -O -S. It's uh, actually officially a Washington ghost town. We showed some of the foundations of some of the buildings the other day. If you go out down the lake and that shoreline across the other side, which is probably uh, three miles or so, four miles as the crow flies from here. Back in the old days, it was probably a 10 mile journey up and down the hillsides to get over there. But uh, that city was uh, uh, Nesca, N-E-S-K-I-A maybe. And then uh, there's also underneath the water, the city of Rife from which the lake takes its name. The lake is nearly 800 feet deep and the dam that forms the lake, the Mossy Rock Dam, is the tallest dam in Washington State. So just a few uh, fun facts that you might want to know. And so we're just going to continue to walk and enjoy the day. So if I have any more uh, interesting or semi-interesting or uninteresting thoughts that I want to share with you or uh, some pretty or interesting or uninteresting thing to video, I'll be back in a few minutes. Some of the logs that float out here in Rife Lake. Actually kind of pretty. Probably a boating hazard. Probably got to keep your eye open for them. Doesn't appear to be a whole lot of logs out there, but uh, putting a big hole in your boat only takes one like that if you're going fast enough. We'll get it, Bandit! We'll get it! Get it, Bandit! What's that big stick doing? What do you think of that big log, huh? What do you think of that, Bandit? Okay, time to go. Time to go on. There's another one down here anyway. There's another log down here anyway. Oh, it's a steel pipe there. Looks like it goes right into the lake bed. Might have been a small water pipe that delivered water all the way down from the creek up to the city. Cosmos, I don't know. What do I know? Not much. what I read in the Bible, what I see on the internet. That's about all I know. <laughs> yeah, there's the lake that direction. 
And here's a very wet bandit. Bandit! Oh, did you go in the lake? Bandit, did you go for a swim? Oh, now he's trying to dry off in the sand. <laughs> oh, bandit! <laughs> <laughs> Stops and looks at me. Hey, you look like a drowned rat bandit. Get all that hair wet and you're just kind of a skinny boy. Yep. Kind of a skinny boy. Yeah, Papa Dale and Bandage in front of the Driftwood Teepee that somebody built on the shore of Rife Lake. A long way, long hike from the base camp here at Rife Lake, which is, I don't even know if you can see it, it's so far away, way down there. It's probably a mile that we've walked along the shoreline of the beach and we're gonna walk a little bit more and see what we can see. Woohoo! Enjoying Rife Lake. <laughs>